Hi everyone, today I have an announcement. So in June, I'll be teaching alongside Jessa Jones and Mark Schaefer of iPad Rehab at Practical Board Repair School. We're actually gonna be doing a course dedicated for uh, MacBook repair. And uh, in this course, we're gonna go over pretty much the fundamentals of repairs, uh, diagnostic procedures and all of that, um, where to get components, how to read schematics, how to address common faults, how to find common faults, all that stuff. So I've been asked numerous times, do you have a course for MacBook repair and I did not at the time. Um, I don't really want to start up a course on my own, so this is a great opportunity for myself as well as for those people that do want to learn uh, MacBook board repair. So uh, this course will be June 14th uh, through 18th. Make sure I have that date right. Yep, June 14th through 18th. Um, and the course will cost $3,000. I'm going to uh, drop a link in the description. If you do want to come to this course, um, it will be at iPad Rehab's location in upstate New York, which is a, actually a pretty nice place to visit as well if you I want to take a uh, learning vacation, if you will. Uh, but I look to... I, I, um, Look forward to seeing some of you guys there, and uh, it should be a really great uh, learning experience, and uh, should go really well. Um, so, the on the website that I'm going to link, there's also um, going to be uh, in detail of what we're going to be learning there. Uh, so, pretty much the basics of MacBook Word repair. I'm going to be placing an emphasis on diagnosis because a lot of texts are used to iPhones. Uh, diagnosis on MacBooks is fairly different um, and it requires uh, more of a logical mindset. So we'll be doing a lot of that as well as schematics and how to source components, how to uh, identify common faults, how to separate faults from one another because sometimes faults can present in uh, similar or the same way. So we're, we'll be going over that and as well as proper re uh, rework procedures on MacBook logic boards because they're very different than iPhone boards. So again, link will be in the description. I'm happy to answer any questions you may have and uh, look, look forward to seeing you, some of you guys there. So that's it for today.